Hey everybody, it's Jay's 96 back with another Transformers review, and today I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Universe. I cannot talk today. Transformers Animated Deluxe Jazz. Yeah. Um, pretty nice figure. He's not my favorite, amazingly, though, of the animated line. It still is animated Soundwave. He, Soundwave, Superior, Jazz, and other people, Inferior, yay. Ah, pretty. <laughs> yeah, you can expect that a lot of times randomness is the best thing ever. I don't know, I'm a weirdo, but anyway, back to the review. Very nice figure, kind of G1, well, ki yeah, kind of G1 reminiscent, I don't know, kind of not. Uh, the vehicle mode is a little bit uh, different. I mean, like, G1 Jazz was a Porsche, which this doesn't really look like a Porsche to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure I probably am. I don't think this is modeled after a car. Again, I'm probably wrong. I mean, it has to be modeled after some car. I'm sure. Well, whatever. But, yeah. Um, still very nice, nonetheless. Uh, yeah. He has the signature Jazz stripes. The blue and then the red, one big red stripe. And then the Autobot symbol which is actually an Elite Guard Autobot symbol, because it has the three, three uh, red stripes on the sides to make it look like wings. And it's the Elite Guard symbol. Whoa. Whatever. Um, he has cool exhaust pipes, uh, rear view mirrors. For once, all the windows are painted, even the back window. And, yeah. Um, main colors, or color scheme, sorry. Uh, his color scheme is white, black, dark gray, red, uh, silver, blue translucent plastic, and a little bit of brown. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, very cool. He has the kind of dark gray front fender, a uh, silver grill down here, the blue translucent front lights, which look very awesome. Um, yeah, his silver rims too. Rolls really well. Uh, red tail lights, which are kind of cone shaped. There's even four of them. Uh, but yeah, there's also a little bit of. Uh, it's kind of like a black stripe right there. I don't know. But there's also a back fender. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I do like the uh, look of the car. So this goes down, and then these are kind of raised up. Then these go all the way up. Then they go down, and then they kind of go out. Just looks pretty cool. Um, and yeah, you can't really see that much on the bottom. I mean, well, actually, you kind of can. You can see the uh, head, the arms, the fists, the thighs, and the waist. But whatever. I mean, you're not going to be driving it upside down. So, yeah, it's perfect. Very cool vehicle mode. I give it a 9 out of 10, still, because uh, it's not very G1 reminiscent, just because, uh, I mean, it ha does have these stripes on the front, but I think on Generation 1 Jazz, had the stripes that were on the hood. I think, I don't know for sure, but I think it did have even the stripes on the hood, but I do know for sure that it went down here. I do actually have G1 Robot Heroes Jazz, so I'm going to look at that. Okay, so here's G1 Robot Heroes Jazz. Yes, I, I thought so. He does have the stripe. See, and actually, oh, I thought it was... Wrong again. He only had actually one blue stripe. On this one, he had blue and then one red stripe. But no, he, on G1 Jazz, he only had one blue stripe. Stripe on the uh, hood of the car, and I don't know where the back of the car necessarily is. Because it's just in robot mode. Yay. Yay. Stupid robot heroes. Well, they're not stupid, but they're not the best. Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this guy isn't very G1 at all. The only thing really G1 about him is that his name is Jazz, and he is white. whoop de dang doo But whatever, I'm gonna just look at the box. Autobot symbol. Autobot. Autobot Jazz. <sighs> I think they want people, like, I don't know. It's like, Hasbro, we get it, he's an Autobot. But I think they had to put Autobot Jazz, because Jazz is, of course, the kind of music which is trademarked. Well, I don't know. 
but whatever. Um, downloadable energy checks, which I just call them nunchucks. Picture of him, Autobot symbol, Transformers animated. Uh, head shot. Cybertron is cool, but Earth rules is his quote. With a cool picture of him. Um, other figures, vehicle mode, robot mode. Galactic powers and abilities, Mac master of circuits who even more powerful than Prowl. Pretty much meaning he can kick Prowl's metal butt. Uh, for his hand-to-hand -hand combat to fighting at a distance, and members, uh, a member of Cybertron Elite Guard. Uh, he's the Elite Ninja, Bio, and yeah, pretty much the box. Uh, now, to transform this guy, what I do is I just take out the nunchucks, because you're not going to really need to keep them in during the transformation. It said to in the instructions, but it's pretty much worthless, because they pop out sometimes anyway. So yeah, just put those aside. And then, you pull these side doors down. Uh, and yeah, it should look like that. Urgh. There we go. Yeah, just kind of pull out and pull down at the same time. It, they should pop out. There, you pretty much have the arms out. Then, when you have it like that, flip up these back panels for the kneecaps. Take it like this, and just pull up. Okay. For only the... It's pretty much the only hard part about the transformation. Folding that up, and it's still not very hard, so... Yeah. And... Just keep pushing this down. Um... You need the Rubik's Cube. Maybe. Okay. And then... Crap. My camera's gonna fall, I know it. You flip out the feet. And they should be like that. Split the legs. And then you fold these up. Then you fold this flap down. Fold this whole thing down. Make sure the wheels are clicked into place right and everything. Now you push down the windshield, pull this back, uh, make sure the arms are straight and forward and everything. Pull down the arms, uh, fold out the fists, well, actually just hands pretty much. Um, rotate these panels around to the like that. Rotate these out. You don't have to, but I do anyway, because it says to do that in the instructions. You know, just pull them out like that, rotate these, and you have Jazz in robot mode. Um, yeah, pretty nice robot mode. Uh, and yeah, very cool figure. Um, very nice posability, too. Uh, yeah, just a 360-degree view. Uh, Another thing that's not very much like Generation 1 Jazz is, uh, pretty much, he doesn't, uh, like, Generation 1 Jazz had kind of wings, while the doors would turn into wings, like on the movie Bumblebee and stuff. Um, but on this guy, he doesn't have any wings, but whatever. Um, yeah, so, this isn't very G1, reminiscent of G1 Jazz, but in some ways it is, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, he has a brown face, as you can see, the, uh, blue lead piping, which is pretty good, or light piping, sorry, uh, he has the white hat looking thing, I don't know, he, if you look closely also, he has kind of a detail of headphones, which is kind of weird, but whatever, um, yeah, and you can take his nunchucks, flip them in half, you can, the best way to put these in get it like this, then just kind of pull up, kind of just rotate them so they go right, or go upright, whatever, and yeah, you can put them in like that, put the string in this hand, pull it through, and you have jazz with the nunchucks, which actually have a string, so they can actually be like, oh, psh, 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 psh. So, quick size comparison to animated Bumblebee. He's taller than animated Bumblebee. That's my only size comparison. Sorry, people. Well, okay, fine. Maybe one more. That's it. Lockdown. 
He is, of course, shorter. Much, much, much shorter than Lockdown. Um, so, yeah, his pose ability, his head can go 360 degrees. Well, his articulation. Uh, his arms can go 360 degrees, kind of backward a little bit. Out from the body, rotate 360 degrees. Bend at two places at the elbow. Uh, the fists can go inward, rotate 360 degrees. The waist can go 360 degrees. Legs can go forward, backward, out from the body. Bend at the knee, rotate 360 degrees. Feet can pivot. And that's pretty much his articulation. So, yeah, thank you for watching my review. Again, tomorrow I will be reviewing Universe Sunstreaker. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the review. I give this figure a total... I forgot to rate him in robot mode and vehicle mode. But I give him a total of 9 out of 10. Highly... Well, not highly recommended, but recommended. So, yeah, thank you for watching my review. This is Jason, Jason 96 